Hi, YouTubes. We haven't actually done anything yet. No big deal. Just talking about the Oppenheimer movie. Yeah, I just recently actually watched some stuff on World War II. And uh, it's interesting, like, what led up to Japan attacking Pearl Harbor and whatnot. Because um, the U.S. Of, like, oil really did. Going. Yeah, the U.S. basically goaded them into it. Um, like, because at the time, the American populace was very isolationist. They weren't a big fan of butting into other countries' affairs, which, fair. Um, so the American government kind of needed a reason to get into a war if they wanted to have a war. So every time Japan came to them, it was like, hey, we need, you know, oil and, and help and whatnot because of these war efforts, efforts that we're having. They just kind of blew them off each and every time, didn't give them any leeway at all, and eventually completely cut them off from oil. So Japan and, and America fully well, like the top brass in America fully knew what was going to happen. Um, but Japan had to either... Rue, hello! Um, they either had to come after America or go after, um, Russia, basically. <laughs> like, that was their... Or not Russia, but, uh, what was the other... Because it was Italy, Japan, and... Germany. And Germany. Who were the the ones in the middle? I can't remember. Point um, is Austria, which Germany annexed, and then um, was it Hungary? No, it's not any of the Romania. ones. Romania. Germany kept trying to to beat them, but couldn't. Yeah, I think it was Russia. Anyways, my memory's not great, and I'm not great with history. But uh, anyways, point is, uh, they're the ones who invaded Japan at the end. Germany uh, invaded. Well, started to wanted to wanted to get Japan to fight but Japan and Germany weren't really buds they were only aligned on paper really they didn't help each other at all and Japan refused to help with the war effort in uh Japan or in in Germany multiple times um and absolutely refused to attack whichever nation it was the one that I can't remember I, I think it might have been Russia um, even though, in doing so, they could have got all of the oil reserves that they could ever have wanted. Um, and, uh, so they basically had two choices. Do that, which they repeatedly refused to do, even with Germany asking them to. Um, attack America, or there was technically a third choice. They could start taking the smaller islands that were pseudo america um not really but you know like the philippines and stuff like that and uh they thought that if they did the islands they would be attacked is the information that has come out afterwards that america would join the war effort at that point and so they were like well if america's going to join no matter what we do we might as well go straight to a surprise attack on america so that's what they did and uh it actually has come out since then as well that it was unlikely for America to join the war effort if they had just gone after the Philippines and stuff like that. So Japan probably could have saved themselves, but they made the wrong choice there in attacking Pearl Harbor. Uh, but anyways, yeah, no, it was just wild, like, hearing all of the ways that Germany and Japan just did not get along. Like, Japan straight up said, like, the Jewish people and whatnot are perfectly fine. If they want to come and stay here, they can stay here. We're not kicking anybody out. We're not going but to attack them or anything Chinese. like that. Like, well, yeah, they have a long history of hate with the Chinese. This is true. <laughs> but, but they were perfectly fine with Jewish people. <laughs> and they made that known to Germany as well. Um, so it really was just an alliance on paper. It was it's kind of wild. Uh, that, yeah, they just were not friendly at all. Where are you? I saw you join the, the game, base. but where are you? I saw you join the game. Then we stopped shipping Japan oil. Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit earlier. Um, fun fact. Well, not fun fact. You got we in, only stopped but... shipping them oil in 1940, which is after they invaded China. Yeah. Well, and again, we were isolationists. We didn't really care what they were doing for the most part. I can't remember why we decided exactly to stop giving um, oil to Japan. I, I know they, they talked invaded about it, but friend uh, French Indochina or Indonesia. Is that what it was? Okay. And we were worried about their expansionism mm -hmm. into our island areas, so mm -hmm. we embargoed them. Yeah, but again, like afterwards, though, after the war, they were saying, like, 
that it was highly unlikely for us to attack Japan if they decided to take over our somewhat owned islands. So like, I don't know. It was a, it was a weird. It was a weird time. Um, but ancient history. I mean, it's not actually that ancient. It's eighty years ago. But like, anyways. A horrible part of American history? You mean the atrocities that we committed during World War II to Asian people in America? Or the atrocities that we committed against African American, or at the time, I guess, just African people um, <laughs> in American history? Or do you mean what we did to the natives of America um, during colonial times? Because, yeah, America's not, you know, innocent in anything. Not even a little bit. There's a lot of fucked up shit. You just generally don't get taught when your country does fucked up stuff. You only get taught about the fucked up stuff other countries did. Imagine that. Crazy, that. Anyway, sir. So, we were trying to get, I think, new weapons, maybe? Because we got the armor, right? Yeah. Oh, didn't we need new tools? Do we need like a new hammer or something to get something? The USA, it's don't fuck with our boats. Well, no, it was more about like, you know, being attacked without a proper declaration of war or anything like that. And also, the American higher ups wanted a reason to go to war anyways, but they didn't have the support of the American people. So, uh, but anyways, and hi, Noodle. I'm sorry, I was just talking. And what'd you say, man? I can't read and listen at the same time. I thought we needed to upgrade our tools. Oh, like yeah, we our have... hammers, I think. I have a hammer, an upgraded hammer now. Yeah, we needed level three for something. Do you have a level yeah. three? Yeah, no. I have the level three hammer, and we have a level three axe. We still have level one shovels. Bro, I, I don't know if we need to upgrade nothing. those. What well, do you want, the hammer or the axe? I'll I mean, trade no, you I'll one. I'll just let you do all of it. Oh, okay, well, whatever. doesn't matter to me. What do we need do we for shovels? we have a muscle sprout? <laughs> yeah, I planted those. I don't... There's no real reason for me to, because they hurt you if you eat them. But I think you can use them as, like, part of a recipe or something. Oh, we can make a black ant shovel right now. I'm going to go ahead and make a level 2 shovel. Do you want one? Sure. Kind of pointless-ish, but... Here you go. Take a take a shovel. Happy birthday. Hope you like it. You can have that trash one too. Wait, did I throw? No, okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought I threw them both on the ground. <laughs> oh, we were gonna make new weapons though. Oh, we were gonna make new weapons. Because there was the level three life steal one. The oh, either yeah. the tiger mosquito rapier. So just the upgraded version of what we have, but we needed rust. And for Rust, we needed... Maybe that's what we needed level 3 thing for? I remember that we found it. I just don't remember how to collect it. Or we need... Or we can make the tick... I can't even say what that is, man. What? Sorry, I was looking at Bo <laughs> to see what Bo ended up like. He still got the bugging out eyes. <laughs> the dancing dinosaur? It is very cute. Anyways, there's the tick maca or something that uh, all we need to do is find pine cone pieces for as well. That's another option. Oh, Choco just trying to get old man thing. eyes. Or no, dot eyes probably. A violent bat crafted from tick fangs. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah, that, that one has life steal. So either one would be fine, but we did what find the rust at, at some point. Oh, the, the tiger, tiger mosquito, mosquito, yeah. Because that all we need is rust. We have more than enough of everything else. I just don't remember how or where Didn't the rust need, was exactly. We needed a tool to get the rust. Yeah. I'm thinking it was the level 3 hammer, though. Which we have now. I'm not positive, but, like, what else would you need to... Because we just got to knock the rust off, right? Also, apparently it's too early to go to bed, so do you want to travel at night or do you want to wait? <laughs> What time is it? It's 5.05. Oh, let's go to bed. We can't until 11. Jesus. Also, do you have a big exclamation mark over here? 841 centimeters away? 
Where are you? Oh, yeah. What is that what? for? Did we mark that? What is that for? Oh, there it is. None. Exclamation mark, none, none. yeah. <laughs> Game isn't bugged at all, it's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, bow's cute, what do you mean somewhat better? That's a cute bow. I mean, that's where the uh, quest is. I know that much. I mean, by the time we get there, it might be daytime. I mean, by the time or it'll just be the middle of the night and we can't see shit. Or it'll just be the middle of the night and we can't see shit. Oh, still pretty, though. Pretty eyes. Oh, still pretty, though. Pretty eyes. Bro, did you drink all the water? No. Bro, did you drink all Maybe. the water? Maybe. <laughs> uh, well, technically, I didn't drink it all. Uh, well, technically, I didn't okay, drink okay. All. It's it's just in my uh okay. jug. jug. Right? I think it's a cute one. I'm with Rue on that one, dude. I think it's a cute one. I'm with Rue on that one, dude. Oh. Can we like destroy this shit? Yeah, and just trash it. <sighs> trash. Bro, I don't want to go work tomorrow. Trash. Just don't just quit. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Got like 20 hours of PPTO though. Oof. Kind of feeling sick all of a sudden. Oh man, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh man, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Can you only destroy shit? Yeah, why is the grass board? wall it's damaged dumb. that bad? We were being attacked before you got in here. We were being attacked by, by larva. Oh. I don't think I have any of the repair things. Inventory. Yeah, I don't have any of the repair stuff, so we're just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. I mean, we could tear down, just build a new one. All it is is planks or whatever. Is it time to go to bed yet? No, dude, it's only been an hour. <laughs> we still got dude, fuck. <laughs> still got five more hours before we can go to bed. I'm just gonna go. Fuck it. Can go find this rust. I got torches, right? Yeah, I got plenty of torches. Fuck it. Let me get my new weapon, man. And now that we have the, uh... Why is this weevil just chilling here? Do they normally sleep out at night? Oh, shit. Let's try to run away. Anyways, um... And now that we have the level 3 hammers, we can go back to that big head thing, too, and hit the... The poppers, whatever the hell they're called. Oh, yeah, that's true. We should probably try and get the rust first to we should probably try and get, the rust first. get the newer weapons cause in case it's like a boss fight or something if that moth comes down. No, we should have marked. No, we what? Should have marked. Where the rust was? Well, yeah, that would have been smart too. But, <laughs> but no, I was talking about uh, yeah, where we or how we get up. About, uh, oh, yeah. You do remember I, I, that's a long trek to get the rust, right? It's right, if I remember right, it's right around where the uh, quest is. That's like a mile away, bro. That's 600 centimeters. What are you talking about? From where I'm at? 120 from back From you. That's nothing, like, man. That's like one... I don't know. It's pretty far, though. <laughs> It's not that far. I'm already halfway there. I'm already halfway there. I just gotta remember how to get up there. <laughs> just gotta remember how to get up there. <laughs> so we blew up a section of a wall. I remember that. Yeah, that was one of the last things we did, I thought. Nah, I think we did that a little bit earlier, because we oh, well, there reasoned that to get like, up we and down. Gonna blow up. Oh, Maybe. And you didn't want to waste the last piece of dynamite. But I thought we blew it up anyways. I don't remember. It's been too I, say, I don't even have any, man. <laughs> any more explosives. All the explosives are gone.
Okay. I think it's around here. Because there's the rock near the wall, which is familiar. Is that it right there? That's it right there. Oh, my torch is out. No wonder I can't see shit. That is one giant head. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, fuck. I had no stamina or something. Oh, my torch is out running. too, and I don't have any extras. I have extras if you catch up with me. Never leave without extra torches. And you would say that? <laughs> well, yeah, I just randomly saw that's one giant ass head. Of course, I'm confused. Where are, where are you? Ah, oh, fireflies! Noodle and I were eating uh, lunch at a park yesterday, day before yesterday, uh, right around dusk. And uh, dude, there were so many fucking fireflies out. It was beautiful. She hated it because she's scared of them, but I loved it. It was great. Oh shit, it doesn't stay lit. <laughs> oh, I dropped a torch for you, but oh, it didn't do I'm anything. Just one. Oh, okay. Well, then fine, I'll take my torch back. I'm only 100 centimeters away. If you just come here, you could probably. I can just give you one if you want. Nah, out of it. I'm gonna make it. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and go find the rest then. I wish we could jump up, like, right here. That'd be handy. But no, fuck that. <laughs> Why make the game easier on people? It's like they want you to build or something. It's the anti-building coalition. We don't build. We just kill. What? <laughs> it's the anti-building coalition. We don't build, we kill. You ever find an easy way up there? No, I don't think so. I think we gotta go around the whatchamacallit. The fucking what's it called? The fucking grill. What's it called? Grill. Damn dude, there's a lot of gnats over here with it being nighttime. Damn, dude, there's a lot of and this light on over here. If we ever need gnats, man, I got you. Oh, you can kind of see what's like, uh, what's super hot and what's not with it being nighttime. Because shit actually like glows red a little bit. Oh, that's nice. It's getting hot in here. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Ah, we're fine. Everything's fine. Just burning a little bit. Now rust. Uh, was it on the bike? No, it was under something, wasn't it? Or no, that that was for the poopa leather. Never mind. Yeah, that was the poopa leather. Was it? Maybe it was up where the chair is, cause the chair's all rusty. I think so. I'm gonna go with that. I think so. I'm gonna go with that. We gotta get on the bike to get up there, though. We gotta get on the bike. I hope I'm going the right direction. I can't really see much. Just a little halo around me. Everything else is just black. Just a little halo around me. Everything else is just black. Just heading towards the weird exclamation mark marker and hoping for the best. Weird exclamation mark marker and hoping for the best. That's the bike. I see the bike. Let's go. That's the bike. I see the bike. Let's go. It's a big ass wolf spider. Kill it. 
No, thanks. <laughs> oh, is that two of them? Yeah, well, I mean, it is nighttime, man. This is their time to, like, I'm come out and fuck shit up. Man. They're eyeballing me. I don't like that. They're just saying hello, you know, trying to be friendly. I found, ones, uh, or I found two of their legs in real life in my room. I don't know why. <laughs> one was in my bed and the other one was on the nice, floor. Dude. Nice. In your bed. That's fantastic. Nice. In your bed. That's fantastic. You sleeping with wolf spiders over there? You got a wolf spider daddy? You sleeping with wolf spiders over there? You got a wolf spider daddy? The safe to jump on to, yes. Oh, uh, we also found that uh, boss arena for like oh, the yeah. end game boss, but we need to figure out how to unlock it. Because by default, it's locked. This chair's rusty, but no. I don't see any collectible rust i know it was around here somewhere though was it the nails were there like some super rusty nails or something that sounds right for some reason that sounds right for some reason i think it was man i think they were like super rusty nails that we could collect the rust from sounds about right The chair is over here. The chair is over here. I'm still gonna go up on the chair and see, but I'm, still gonna I'm convinced at this point that it was I'm convinced at this point that it was a nail somewhere. Or a group of nails somewhere. Ooh, a donut. I like donuts. Bruh. The axe, I'm assuming because it's level 3 is a much better weapon than the fucking actual weapon that we have. I forget how to get up to where you are. If you just follow the wall, eventually you get to like a rock. And then you jump up on the rock. And then you jump up onto the wall. And that's where we destroyed, like, that section of the wall to get up there. I offered to show you the way, but, you know, you wanted to fuck around and find out. I was out, making, so. <laughs> I was making my torch. I offered you torches, dude. I offered you torches. Self-made man. Something like that. Oh, wait. I think I found the rock. No, I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I don't think so. Wait. No. Where's the battery? Where's the battery? Do you have to get the certain quest to go under the shed? I have no idea. <laughs> Welcome, I Ford Games one two three. But I know very little about this game. We've been playing for a while. We're near the end of the game. But fuck if I know. <laughs> we we are very lost, to be honest with you. But we're figuring it out slowly as we go. <laughs> That's half the fun of the game, right? Figuring out what the hell's going on. That's half the fun of the game, right? Figuring out what the hell's going on. Oh, shit. I know there's some way to get up there. Maybe from the pop can. That makes sense. I got up there before. Got up there before. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Like this tra chair is very rusty, but I I think it was nails. I think there were nails somewhere. I think it was nails. I think there were nails somewhere. You've had it for like three weeks, and we're farther than you are. Yeah, we've been playing. About once every couple of weeks for, what, a couple months now? Longer than that, I guess, huh? Because this is, what, the 12th time we've played on stream. We played a little bit before that off stream. And if we're doing every other week, that's 
at least six weeks. So yeah, probably about three months on and off that we've been playing, but just in like small bursts. Um, but there's like so much to this game <laughs> and like we, there's secret bosses and stuff that we found, um, that we have no idea how to trigger them. You need something to make them work. We don't know how any of that actually works yet. <gasps> Is that rust? That looks like, bro, that's like a flake of rust. What do you mean? I can't collect that. Um, apparently there's like a good ending and a bad ending to the game. So that's our actual goal right now is to unlock the, the good ending. But we're not really sure how to do that either. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're looking for tips, you're probably in the wrong place is all I'm saying. Because <laughs> we're kind of trash. We don't know what's going on. We're just guessing. I'll give you a tip. Drink more water. Drink more water? Yes. Good tip. Good tip. Now this guy can't even remember how to get up to us. Like I'm, I'm up. I made it. Oh, did you make it up finally? Okay. Yeah. We don't really have a clear path up here, to be honest. No, not, not particularly. That's true. Oh, hey, dust mites. We definitely need more cat mugs. Wait, what? Where did that come from? Why do we need more cat mugs, Noodle? I'm guessing you see someone on Amazon for cheap or something. I don't even know why. Oh, wait, maybe it's like this hammer. This hammer looks rusty. No. Never mind, not the hammer. We never analyzed dust mite fuzz. Oh, really? Hmm. I just picked up my old backpack. I got two of them. Never analyzed. Okay. So I'm at the watch, the actual like mission point again. The scab, I guess it's called. The scab, I guess it's called. Some toenail clippers up here. Toenail clippers up here. There's a random nail in here, but it's not rusty enough to but it's not rusty enough collect any rust. Dr. Smector? No. <laughs> I definitely have not. Never even heard of that. Never even heard of that. Were they maybe... Were they maybe... Over by where that boss arena we found was? Over by where that boss arena we found was? Is it maybe over there? Where are you checking? Are you checking by like the termites or are you coming over here to the chair area as well? I'm coming. Hold on. I'm getting I'm getting attacked currently. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> Try not to die, dude. I'm <laughs> it took you right now. literally no... like twenty I'm minutes to get up here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm poisoned. I have no What are you uh, doing? Healing. Are you fighting freaking spiders? Oh, spider. Yeah, a little baby one attacked me, poisoned me. You're dying to a baby spider. Oh, my poison, my poison, uh, poisoning's gone. I have, like, five HP, though. But... Oh, you're good, man. Your poisoning's gone. You're fine. Oh, you need you five any, HP. Uh... <laughs> Healing <laughs> items? Yeah. I have a couple drinks, that's it. Which, I mean, they do heal. They're just not great heals. There's some lint. I guess I could collect that real quick. And why are there so many? Oh, they're dust mites. I guess they're probably attracted to the lint. That makes sense. Oh, and I just almost died from a fall. Oh, I forgot the dust mates make you slow. So they're like throwing dust in your eyes or whatever. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to analyze. How do I? Where is it? There he is, little bastard. It's a creature. Bro, I'm we so glad you're here to peep, because <laughs> I don't ants. peep shit, Oh my shit, god, bro, dude. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's chasing me. <laughs> well, yeah, they're aggro, dude. I forgot. Oh, one hit's gonna kill me. It's on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I got a, I got a problem with dust mites right now, or I'd help you out, but... Yeah, come over this way and give me some healing, how about... <laughs> Why don't you come here and get some healing, dude? You're fine. There's a bunch of soldier ants in between <laughs> you and me. You got a you got a sword that heals, like. 
It's fine. Uh, you just got to attack shit. arrows. <laughs> I'm going to attack this ant far away. Oh, that was a worker ant. So I just yeah. aggroed one that wasn't even there. <laughs> Perfect, dude. Perfect, dude. How far away are you? 135 centimeters. Okay. I'm coming. You're not that far. Wait, are you on the bike? Yes. Okay, I'm coming. My only safe spot. Said my heels aren't much though, to be honest. Said my heels aren't much. Yeah, and you're bringing 70 ants with you. I'm not even sure if I can jump up there. I'm not even Come sure around. Jump up there. To where? I got up here from being down uh, there. Oh, okay, down from here. Way. Yeah, I see. I see, I see. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I see. I see, I see. Oh. <sighs> oh, man. I suppose you want one of my drinks, huh? Something. <laughs> what do we play on PC? Oh, that's right in my camera. <laughs> I don't even see. Where are my heels? I'm so blind. There they are. Uh, trash the whole stack. How do you split a stack? Do you remember? Is it alt? No, I don't. Might have to right click it. Consume, drop, drop stack. I guess I could just drop one. That should give you like ten health or so. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> there you go, dude. <laughs> you got what? Fifteen health, maybe. Yeah, You're Gucci now. I'm solid. You're good. Now, now I can take like a hit and a half. You just gotta beat on some ants, dude, or some dust mites. Get that life steal. And if we're together, I can just get you up whenever you go down, like, because my health's full. That's what happens when you don't fuck around, you know? You don't find out. It's fine. What are you doing? Oh, you're collecting your arrows <laughs> from your ruthless ant murdering you were doing? Tell him to stay close so we can take care of each other. Instantly runs to the other ant. Gets swarmed by another ant. <laughs> and another ant. <laughs> bro. <laughs> oh my god, bro. How are you still alive? Getting my health back. Just in general, I mean. <laughs> Okay, that one's running away. Oh, didn't mean to shoot you. Whatever. Yeah, you put it in his ass, I'll put it in his face, man. We got this. <laughs> Alright, onward. Uh, We're looking for rust. Do you have enough health to just ignore these guys now? I suppose. I mean, if you want to fight them, you can. I don't care what you do. I'm ignoring them. The rust was over here, I thought. On that side? Okay, well, if you yeah. want to check that side, I'm going to keep checking this side. Because I did run through there. I didn't do, like, a thorough investigation of it. But I did look around a bit and didn't see anything. No, the rust is all the way back at the where the termites were. They see, had the rusty nails. See, I brought up that, but I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember. I'm There's got to sure. be rust in, like, more than one spot. There's got to be rust in more than one spot. I mean, regardless, if we just go to the end of the I mean, the shed here, the the... we'll get to the the termite mound because this drops we'll off over there. The, the termite mound, cause this drops off over there. There's like so much rusty shit, though, man. Just surprised we can't collect rust off of any of them. Some rotten hot dogs, yummy. You hungry? I got food for you. That's great. <laughs> How are you getting farther away? I thought you were convinced it was at the termite mound. Well, then I'm I came over here to check. Okay. Have you been on this battery before? Yeah. That's how you get up 
you go over to like where the battery is and then there's something i forget what it is but i never did at least yeah anyway. i just thought god damn it <laughs> why would you try with so little health my god i was at full health oh no shit that's an insta that kill nice well i guess it's a good thing i never got shocked yeah don't jump on the uh terminals yeah What's the best way to get up there? It's fine. I'll carry the team. It's fine. I'll carry the team. Is, is it like instant death death or can you be revived? I mean, I'm no, too far away, I'm sure either way, but dead dead. Nice. Ow, what the hell? Ah, uh, whatever. Follow me this way, ant. Oh, that's right. We never even explored the end of the, the termite area up here because you didn't want to join me last time. I forgot about that. There's like the king termite or whatever that we never dealt with over here. I thought we were too weak to fight him. No, I was too weak to fight him alone, but you were exploring that area we were just at. Or trying to figure out how to get up there. I thought I came over to help at one point. No, I thought you were, but you didn't. You left me alone. <laughs> and then I think you started dying. Like, actually dying, so I had to run over and save you, I think. I get up from here. Oh, freaking mosquitoes, dude. Uh, I hate the mosquitoes. I really should have repaired my armor before I left. Get wrecked. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Them. <laughs> I just threw my freaking weapon. Thankfully, it got stuck in the wood right in front of me. That would have been a bad time. Here's some nails. Hey, if you get more rust, we can make black ox crossbows as well. Ooh. Is that the only other thing we need for them? Well, rust, black ox parts, Let's lint, go. Uh, okay. lint rope, which we almost have enough of, and then pine. I did collect pieces. a little bit more lint while I was out. We have three. We need four per crossbow. Okay. We can make a bunch of different arrows, though. Yeah, I saw we've been unlocking the recipes for them. And, like, technically, things do have weaknesses. We probably should do shit like that, but... And some of them are kind of nice, like the... Oh, there he is. The, uh... The po uh, pollen arrow. Fly, if it's a flying animal, it stuns them, and it lowers their movement speed. That is sick. How much rust do, do you need... think we get? Wow, okay. Was... <laughs> There's one. Two. Two. <laughs> Hopefully there's more nails than that. Okay, here's another one. One, two. Hey, we got four from that one. That's a good drop. How much did we need for the weapon? Four per. So we would need 16 total, though, if we wanted to make the new crossbows. Baby spiders. Spoiter man. Spoiter man. Where's the rest of these fucking... Things at? Is this one? This looks like one. Yeah. Oh, you bastard. I hate mosquitoes. So freaking annoying. They're not even like hard enemies. They're just annoying because they fly away from you constantly as you're fighting them. Okay, I need at least one more nail. Can you be broken? Yeah, let's go. Oh. A little hidey hole. 
that enough? Is that enough? Fire ramparts. Twelve. No wait. We needed sixteen. Twelve. Shit. No wait. We needed sixteen. Shit. Okay, some more nails, please. There's at least one over there, but it's in a bad spot. There's probably more in here in this den with the fucking wolf spider. Actually, no, I don't see any. Okay, so leaving that area then. Because screw that guy. I mean, at the very least, we have enough to make our new swords. I just accidentally deposited my axe. I don't know where though. <laughs> I hit check. N. I don't know what N does, but it must be hot deposit, I guess. But check upstairs in those uh, chests, because that's. I think that's where I put my old axe at. Honestly, we could just destroy them, and I was going to start destroying them, but then I realized you have to actually be holding it to destroy it. And I don't have the new axe. Yeah, oh, well, mean, like, not mine. I was going to destroy yeah. my old one. Yeah, not yours. Damn, dude. I think we're... Oh, nope. I found it. Okay. So, yeah, we have enough rust now. Coming home! Or should... Oh, no. We should make the new weapons first. I was going to say, maybe we should stop by that weird castle area and hit the thingies, the pop caps. But that might summon the boss. We don't know for sure yet. Oh, I have enough to... I can make a termite axe now. Oh, is that the level 3 axe? Yeah. Yeah, do it, dude. Might as well. It's a decent backup weapon, too. If everything goes to shit. What do we need to fix our armor? To repair it. Antlion parts and silk rope. Do we have any extra antlion parts at home? I'm not sure. I hope so. Why don't we have the level 3 shovel unlocked? We must not have figured out, like, whatever resource you need to make it. That's the only thing that makes sense. I think this is where we found lint. I think this is where we found lint. Is it here somewhere? Maybe it hasn't respawned yet. Maybe it hasn't respawned yet. That, no. If it respawns, I guess we don't actually know for sure how lint works. Still a new resource to us. Screw you, Larva. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> guess I'm going in the ditch. Ooh, venom arrows. Guessing that's like some sort of spider part or something. Yeah. I really hope we have extra online parts. It's gonna suck if we don't. Cause my head and legs are about to break. I really don't want to make another trip back to the <laughs> sandbox. Hey, I mean, we're equipped for it now, at least. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's true. Unless my head and pants break, and then, <laughs> then not so much. You're at home, right? Yeah. Huh. Okay. I'm using you as a marker on where to go. Oh, well, the home thing popped up now, so. Guess it doesn't matter either way. 
You say you're hunting? Yeah. What are you hunting? Food? Yeah. What are you hunting? Food? Yeah. Do we not have the ingredients for like real food? I don't like real food. <laughs> Bruh, one meal fills you up for like a day and a half. It's great. Uh, that's too much. <laughs> Where's home? Where's home? There it is. It's just very hard to see. There it is. It's very hard to see. I'm excited. This is like the first real progress we've made in a couple weeks. Worth of playing. Assuming popping those bottle caps or whatever actually does something. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> like, yeah. In that case, no. We've just wasted a bunch more time. But we have new armor. We have new weapons. That's pretty big. That's something. That's true. And if all else fails, we can just finish the main quest line and say, screw the secret ending. <laughs> the good ending. Rue might be sad, but I mean... <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Bruh, <laughs> the AI on some of these ants is fantastic. Oh, okay, he turned around. He was just running headfirst into this rock over and over again. Do I have this another dandelion? I do. Just swap it out and just get rid of that one. It's close enough to breaking. Excuse me, so seeing how we're almost done with this game, what do you want to play next, man? Do you want to start the five-year journey of uh, Divinity Original Sin? That might be longer than five years. <laughs> you might want to devote like two days a week, every week for that. Then maybe uh, five years. One day a week, every other week for like ten years. It'll be Bro, fine, Bro, just man. do it. Okay, Look. listen, we might have to go on like an every week schedule. All right, how about... How about we do Baldur's Gate 3 all endings? Is it co-op? <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. I would love to play. Like, I, like... I'm definitely going to get Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, I want to play I the wanna... other ones, too. I have yeah. them. I just never got around to playing them. Are they all connected? Story-wise, yeah. Oh, like, shit, I don't know. I don't... Play. I think 1 and 2 directly lead into one and another. I don't think 3 yeah, is, like, a direct have... sequel or prequel. Just, like, but... the same universe. Yeah. Damn, um, dude. Just... We need more antlion parts. <laughs> no, I'd definitely be down for a uh, divinity. Oh, yeah. Fuck me, man. I've been wanting to play it really bad. I almost started playing it without you, but same, I, same. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's, it's gonna be like I don't know. I want to play it with someone, you know. Yeah, so, like, I think I co-op's a good idea someone. for it, but. We just, last time we played it, we got to that point where we just couldn't do anything. Like, we were too weak to kill anything, and enemies don't respawn in that game. So you can't just, like, grind out levels or anything. Yeah, we just kind of got stuck, dude. Maybe we just, like, sucked at the game. Like, I mean, probably, but... Well, why didn't... There's a... Isn't there different, like, skill level? Like, not skill levels, but... uh Difficulty levels? levels? Bro, we were probably on easy. No, I don't think we were. No, because but... around that time, I was, <laughs> I was pretty uh, adamant that I played all games on like at least hard. So we probably were being dumb. I mean, when I'm not streaming, that's what I usually do as well. But I was doing that for a, a solid few years in my teens, and then I realized it started making me like hate the. Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that noise? What is that noise? Well, something's broken over there. Well, Jesus. Something's broken over there. Fix yourself. Fix yourself.
Which one is it? Hello, hello? Oh, there we go. Can you hear me now? Oh, wait, shit, I should probably... Hello, hello? hello? There we go. Oh, my God, welcome back. Yeah, were... I don't know. It, it was getting bad, broski. I don't know what the fuck happened. I had to unplug my mic and replug it. I'm going to have to do it again because I had to take it off uh, my mic stand. So, like, I'm just holding it right now. So, I got to unplug it again. <laughs> okay. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, like, at first I thought it was RTX voice again or something, because, I mean, we have problems with that every time we fucking play this game. But, uh, no, my camera's still working this time. And I haven't actually been in Discord. I disabled RTX voice because I knew it's been such a problem lately. So I don't know what the fuck happened, dude. It just died. <laughs> I did a little recording, though, and then listened to it back, and, like, yeah, that was hilarious sounding. <laughs> I don't even remember what the fuck I was saying, though, so. I don't even remember what the fuck I was Anyways, uh, yeah. Divinity, we were talking about Divinity. Oh, uh, Divinity, yeah. I don't remember what we were saying about it, but uh, it's a good game. We should play it at some point. I would 100% be down. Here, I got you again. And then after we beat the first one, we have the even longer second one. Yeah. Hold for another 10 years. And Dragon Age 3 for the next 30. And Dragon, Dragon Age 3. <laughs> Dragon, yeah. Or Dragon, what the fuck's it called? Not Dragon Age. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Close enough. Baldur's Same Gate thing, right? Oh, dude, I do have the repair tool Same that I said I didn't have earlier. I just lied to you. My bad. Where's my old weapon? Oh, yeah. Baldur's Gate 3 does have multiplayer. Multiplayer? So I'm pretty sure... I think Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 did, too, but I can't remember. I dropped you a uh, tiger mosquito rapier, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm holding it. That's why I can't fucking find it to trash it. Trash the mosquito needle. Yes. Oh, wait. It did. You can team up with five friends. Bro. I, th I thought so, dude. Divinity... One and two playthrough, and then Baldur's Gate one, two, and two three, three. playthrough. We will be set <laughs> for the rest of our lives. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I mean, I'm down to do that, legit. Um, but should we play them in that order? Or because Baldur's Gate one and two are relatively old, should we play those first and then Divinity? Or yeah, because uh, Divinity, yeah, because it's gonna be jarring going from Divinity back to Baldur's Gate. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was thinking. I'm gonna not be a very happy camper. <laughs> so you said black ox crossbows? Yeah. Oh, dude, we still need black ox parts though. Yeah. Oh, dude, we still need black. And pine cones. We don't even know what the fuck pine cones are. <laughs> Bro, this thing barely does any more damage than the other one. And you need six per. Fuck, dude. What the rapier? Yeah. You can't go off of the thing that it shows there. Um, I remember watching a video that was showing, like, this scale, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> no, this scale is shield, by the way. fucking... Wow! Where's my shield? I don't need one. You just right-click to block, like... Yeah, but it allows you to block more. But if you perfect block, it doesn't matter. Just gotta get good, man. if you don't perfect block? Then now, get wrecked. Oh, do you want some food? I made too much. I mean, if you got real food, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll take one. You want to go do the uh, Give me that the one back. Give me that no. One back. What do you mean? What was it? What was it? Uh, case of Dylan uh, Antlion. I only made one of those. And you took it. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, you didn't pick this one up. Oh, I didn't know you dropped two. Thank you. Yeah, I made four. Thank you. Oh, shit. We got to get Antlion parts first. Fuck. Oh, shit. We got to get Antlion. Jesus Christ, we're never gonna get anything done. Um, how does deposit shit? How does Baldur's Gate one and two multiplayer work? Because it's real time strategy. So like, 
But like, there's a pause feature in single player. Can you just pause willy nilly? I have no idea. Maybe it's like Stardew Valley. You go into a pause mode and then everything else keeps moving. I don't know though. How would that oh, work? Fuck. That you could cheese the game. I don't know, man. Because <laughs> like your characters would just pause and like not be able to get attacked all of a sudden. Like no, maybe you keep getting attacked and shit though. That's what I'm saying. Like in Stardew Valley, when you're in the would, mines, for instance, you that know that would ruin can... the whole flow of the game, bro. Nah, what if you want to see fun. what your status effect does, but you have to read seven pages to figure it out? Now you can't Gotta pause. Get good, dude. Bro, my neck beard isn't that big yet. <laughs> Let's I just go get don't know the parts, man. D and D roll set off like. Yeah, well, I don't either. To be honest, I play D and D, but that's old D and D. That's not new D and D. That's D and D three point five, I think. That's D and D three point five, I think. Like I don't know that rule set either, to be honest with you. But to the sandbox. But to the sandbox. Which is bottom right? No. Where the fuck's the sandbox? There it is. Bottom left. This way. Towards the sunset. Towards the sunset. That's not so bad. Yeah, okay, you're coming. Okay, you're coming. Hey there, buddy. Oh god, dude, I just remembered the fucking ladder system we have to get up there. Oh shit, he's gone. No, I'm still here. What? It, oh, it's, no. You left the it game, yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going the wrong fucking way, dude. You're going the wrong fucking way, dude. Oh, shit. Do I still have gas mask? Yeah. Thank God. Would have been nice if after we finished the the lab in the middle of the gas, if the gas effect would have just went the fuck away. Yeah. That would have been too convenient. Like, sure, it wouldn't have made much sense from, like, real life standpoint, but fuck do I care. Hi, Ladybug. Goodbye, Ladybug. Oh, the Ladybug's dying to the gas. They, <laughs> they walked into the fucking gas. Yo. Okay, I have my gas mask. I mean, technically, I guess we could have walked all the way around the fucking gas, but... Bro. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm really excited for Baldur's Gate and Divinity. I am too, honestly. I, they've been on my list of games to play through for ever, basically. <laughs> like, both of them, Baldur's Gate and uh, Divinity. Divinity ever since we started it, and Baldur's Gate since before that, even. Yeah, I've Just never tried... had the opportunity because they're long ass hmm. games. Yeah, I've played through a handful of hours of Baldur's Gate 1. Uh, my issue with those games, though are like you said they're very long it's a lot of reading and yeah. i think playing it with... okay i think playing it with someone else will like especially when we have a set schedule to play it will like push me to stick with it because yeah. i enjoy it but like after a while i'm like i don't i don't know if i have enough time to invest. <laughs> although i say that and then i just spent like 200 hours in red dead redemption too so maybe right. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just realized we had an echo going the whole time, too, so sorry if anybody it's noticed good. that and got annoyed. My bad. Uh, but anyways... I don't know what Baby J is, Lauren. I, she needs a I Baby J, dude. A baby-sized J. Baby... She asked for Baby J. I've never even heard of Baby J. It's a small joint. Like, a really small joint. I suggest you don't give it to your daughter, but I'm not their father, so... It's a baby, baby J. Jake or J. Oh, that's a thing. Oh my god, what is this? It looks like this terribly animated flash 
thing, like horror <laughs> thing. Bro, okay, come on. Like, we didn't have worse shit growing up. Bro. I mean, I don't know what the hell it is, but it can't be worse than the shit we grew up with. It looks like, uh, you know that, like, what's, what's the art style? It's like a Flash. cutout of a baby's head on, like, a cutout of a baby's body. <laughs> but the arms and legs are also cut out, and it's nice. like that weird skeleton, like where everything just moves to get you. It looks terrifying. I don't see the problem here, dude. It sounds fantastic. I'm lost. I have a marker down, or I'm you could just stuck come to me. On some big tomato looking thing. <laughs> big tomato. It's fine. I'll kill all the ant lions and then just meet you back at base. Like I did with the rust. <laughs> oh, wait, do I go in between it? No. There's a bunch do I of mushrooms. go in between it? Oh, I, I see the staircase now. Oh, the big tomato looking thing, dude. I think you were just talking about the sandbox. Like. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Same thing. I was up really close up against it. Ah, you like fucker. Tomato. Oh, I'm tired. So when are you going to come try this uh, honey whiskey that I got, dude? I'm not a whiskey man. It's I'm honey, though. I'm drunk. I love it's honey, honey, but I know exactly how all flavored whiskey goes. <laughs> it fools you into this taking is... a sip, and then it just burns you the whole way <laughs> this down. This shit is smooth as shit. Like have you ever drank, alcohol. like, have you ever drank, uh, what's that popular brand of vodka? I can't remember no. the fucking name. No vodka's good. <laughs> Vodka is made purely to be mixed in with other drinks. Whoever drinks vodka straight is disgusting. Bro. It's just rubbing alcohol. <laughs> you gotta try this flavored vodka we have. It's good exactly, too. Exactly, it's flavored. But... Bro, yeah, there's people well, who fine. drink vodka on the rocks. Yeah, I know. That shit's weird to me. I Wild. do like like whiskey on its own. I can drink a good whiskey by itself. I understand but... other liquors because they're actually like flavored. Bro, vodka is just straight alcohol. Rubbing alcohol, That's... yeah. It's Ugh. pretty rough. But no, this, uh, this, like, what about the burn of vodka, though, of a standard vodka? No. Is that too like much it. for you, or is I that just, an acceptable I level? If I wanted to burn, I would die and go to hell. I don't know. <laughs> but, like. Point is, I this don't... whiskey isn't actually that bad. It's pretty smooth. Like, you it know, goes the only down liquor easy. I actually enjoy? Wine. Jaeger, no liquor. Like, no. Jaeger, Ma Jaeger Ma Meister. Jaeger Meister. Yeah. Jaeger Master. <laughs> gotta get that German. I don't think that's how they say it in Germany <laughs> either, dude. Meister. I got Jaeger a couple Meister. German viewers. Next time one of them's in, I'll ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask them if it's Jaeger Master or if it's fucking Jaeger. Listen, I was getting attacked when I said that. All right, Jaeger Meister. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I like Jaeger Meister. I uh, I don't think I've ever tried it. Does it taste like licorice? Black Isn't licorice, it a, yeah, yes. Yeah, no, I couldn't fucking do it then. I hate licorice, dude. Kind of got this, like, thick consistency. I hate it licorice. I hate li licorice now, whiskey. I can't do it. Like, when I drank it, I was already fairly intoxicated, so that oh, normally yeah. takes the edge off. <laughs> yeah. So I don't you know if like it actually, like... You drunk. <laughs> I, no, bro, I enjoyed it. I, did, I never hold, like, because we did shots of it. I never hold a shot in my mouth. I try to get it down <laughs> as quickly as possible. Bro, I was enjoying it. Uh, I held it in my mouth. I was tasting it. You it's gotta, not that yeah. strong, but because I was already Ooh. drunk in my head, I was like, yep, this is going to do me in. Bro, I'm at the bar. We do a few shots of it. I'm standing there. Well, I wasn't talking to the guy. Someone else was, but I'm like, it was part of the conversation, I guess. So I was like watching him talk. Bro, all of a sudden, it hit me so hard. Cool. I saw his mouth moving, but I couldn't understand anything he was saying. I was just watching his <laughs> mouth. It was like oh out of a God, movie. Dude. Like everything just zoned out. I couldn't understand nothing. I was just watching his mouth move, and then it hit me, and I was like, "I'm pretty intoxicated. I, I should think get out of here." Somebody slipped a roofie in your drink, dude. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, you might have been drugged that night, man. It started getting real friends, hot in there. Like... It was like it went from like a nice 70 to like Jesus felt like Christ. it was about 120, and I was like. Yeah, I need to get out. <laughs> so I stepped outside. 
Thankfully, I didn't puke all over the place, but I, uh, yeah, that was my well, I, I'm not trying experience. to get you drunk, but you should come and try the honey whiskey. It's good, and it's uh, yeah, smooth. It's, it, it doesn't, like, I'll burn I'll bring anything, some Jägermeister, but... and we, we can exchange. Uh, I'll do, drinks. I'll do a sip of it. Like, I'll try it, but That's I already know my, I don't like it just because it's licorice, up. man. 25 shots. No. <laughs> Fuck no, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't get drunk anymore. I'm good on all that. I enjoy a drink every once in a while, but that's it. Like, literally a drink. One, like, tall glass of whiskey. No, I put, like, a shot in a tall glass and then mix, mix it with root beer or something. Like, Or Noodle and I have been making these, uh, like, frozen slushy drinks using that flavored vodka. Mm -hmm. And uh, that shit's really good. You should try that, too. Anyways, I got all the ant line parts we should need for a while, so I'm heading back to base. What's that shit that's like banned in there? It's not banned, but Absent. they used to think, yeah, they used to think it had like hallucinogenic because of the wormwood. Yeah, it doesn't really though. Right? No. Nope. Well, um, it might have been the wormwood. It might have been something else. One of the ingredients could like grow some sort of fungus or something. That can cause uh, hallucinations, so that's probably where the idea came from, that it was a hallucinogen in and of itself. Um, but when made properly with non-rotten ingredients, no, absinthe is not... Oh, fuck, I'm dying. Forgot about I mean, gas. honestly, I think it'd be fun to get drunk and trip balls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should have talked to me like 16 years ago, but I could have helped you out. <laughs> Oh, yes, when I was a fetus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't have been a fetus 16 years ago. <laughs> I would have been eight years old, Christian. <laughs> okay, look. I mean, I would have been 14. It's fine. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But uh, they sell absinthe. You can buy it. I don't know I if it's it made like, like in the same traditional way or not, but I don't know. Probably ass. <laughs> I don't know. I just I imagine all old alcohols taste like wine, and I hate wine. So I thought it had a licorice taste to it as yeah, well. Probably, which is fucking disgusting. It's one of the only flavors out there I can't do at all, man. It does nothing for me. Fuck! They just broke my pants. You bastards. Trying to change my hat. Have you ever watched 310 to Yuma? Yeah. Well, the the Christian Bale one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, the newer one. Did you like it? Yeah. Noodle didn't fucking like it. It's like probably one of my... Well, I haven't watched it in a while. I wouldn't say Back favorite in the movie, day, but I gave it, it like a solid three or four out of five. Like it's a, It's a solid modern Western movie. Yeah. She said that if her dad had it on the TV and she was in the living room, she would have left. Like, Why? bruh. I don't know. I don't know. So I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought it was good. Decent. Okay. Uh, tab. Repair. Bro. Oppenheimer. I got to tell yeah. someone this. Yeah. Okay. I'm Bro. listening. The man who pushes the button to detonate the Trinity test, guess who it was? Christian Bale. Fucking Josh Peck. <laughs> no shit, dude. Like, <laughs> that's the, oh, they couldn't find anyone else. It had to be Josh fucking Peck. That's great, that's dude. fantastic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. That's, that's a choice. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you need to repair any of your gear or anything? Uh, no, I'm fairly solid. Then I'm just going to go straight to the castle. This. I think it's this. Is it that? Yeah. Super mixer. That's there. Yeah, it's got to be this here. Shit. What? No. Q. Fuck! R. There we go. There's a lot of famous people in that movie. Makes sense that the budget was a hundred million dollars, even though there's 
uh, one explosion in the whole thing, and 99% of it is, like, in a lab or office setting dialogue. Yeah. But they have, like, 30 famous actors in it. Right, but imagine how much it had to cost to get all the permits to build a nuclear device and set it off, like... <laughs> you said there was one explosion in the movie, man. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it Imagine. is a practical explosion. There is no uh, CGI in that movie. Wait, they didn't do like a CGI nuke going off or anything? Nope. It's, it's really? all uh, camera tricks and fairly up close uh, shots. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so they do show like a nuke going off, but it's just they show it, practical but... effects. Yeah. Okay. You can you I can tell you. it's not a huge explosion but they act like they're farther away than what they are that's fair they have it yeah i mean the explosion's big i mean it's still it's still big for a movie like it's big enough that it practically created its own small mushroom cloud (laughs) start like the starting of a formation of one so i don't know how much like tnt they set off i know they did that in real life I don't know if you can get a permit to set off that much TNT, but to test the Trinity test, they set off, it was like, I can't remember how much. It was like 5,000 pounds of TNT or something. God damn, dude. I mean, that's nothing compared to the, what, it was 10,000 tons or something like that, the first one? I can't remember how much it was, but it was large enough. Not the ones that went off on Japan. Now that I'm safe up here, hold on. So if I'm recalling this correctly, there was a Netflix documentary about nuclear bombs that I watched 10 years ago. Nice. Um, and if I recall, that TNT test that they did... Uh, test. No, not the actual Trinity test. Oh, my God. If I recall, the TNT also was large enough to make an actual... Well, I don't know. TNT test thing did test nuke. I thought it was pretty big. I'm sure it was. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they did something along those lines to, you know, as like a point of comparison. Lightning bugs. I didn't expect you all to get mad. Got that glow goo, though. Oh, yeah. So it was 0.1 kilotons of conventional conventional explosives, which is 108. Wait, what? Yeah, so it was a 20-foot high wooden platform uh, with... The explosive power of 108 tons of 108 tons of TNT. Damn. Yeah, that's still a ton. So it wasn't TNT they set off then. It was like an alternative composition thing. B, which is okay. so, yeah. similar to what C4. Okay. So Oh wait. Yeah, it's a castable mixture of RDX and TNT. Okay. The 60-40 mix with 1% wax or some shit. (laughs) Gotta remember that wax, man. That's important. Yeah, it's literally boxes of TNT like 20 foot high. (laughs) God damn, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, it, uh... Yeah, no, it made a mushroom cloud. Holy (laughs) shit. I mean, I guess anything with enough explosive force would, right? Because... Of, like, the pushing everything out and then the implosion as the air forces itself back in, like, rushes back in, and that's going to create an air current, which will carry all the dust and whatnot up into the air, so. Yeah, if you go, uh, whenever you have time, if you go down to, uh, that's, that's, the the gif is of the actual nuclear bomb. If you, uh, scroll down, though, there's a, uh, video of it under the 100 ton test. Yeah. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll do it right now, actually. Oh, wait, okay, so the GIF is the actual test. Yeah, and then if you scroll, down, scroll down, 
and then there should be a, a heading that says 100 ton test. Ah, oh, okay. And then to the right of that's the video. So the actual nuke itself was what, like five kilotons? So this is only 0.1 of a single kiloton, and look how ginormous that explosion is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big ass fireball. My God, I understand why it's not legal, but like, I wish you could just anybody could just buy fireworks and stuff and just set them off. It's like it's fireworks fun. are like actual. Explosives. I mean, that's what fireworks are. Okay, <laughs> I was using a family friendly way to say it's fun to blow shit up. I mean, you can um, buy uh, not thermite. What's it called? I should you can get it dicks. I mean, you can make thermite easily. Yeah, I don't no, think it's illegal that, to make thermite or anything either. They sell it's that just, shit at dicks that if you shoot it, it explodes. I don't know. I mean, you can just buy black powder and shit like that, but making yeah. expl no, like th putting it into a container or anything is illegal and definitely yeah. not suggested. But yeah, like this... fireworks, though, are legal. Just you can't buy big ones. Which sucks. This uh, comes in like a granular form in a giant container. And you can buy it at like like I said, any like a lot oh, of sporting shit. goods places. I have no um, idea what you're talking about, but that's cool. I'm not going to say who, but someone shot it with an AR-15 and it exploded an entire tree. What the fuck? <clears throat> so, yeah, it uh, it has some powerful explosive <laughs> uh, properties to nice, it. Nice. I'm trying to think of the name of it. I don't know why thermite keeps coming into my head, so it has to be similar to that. Yeah, I have no idea. Something might? I don't want to look up explosives. Yeah, to probably. On, <laughs> probably on not the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> That'll definitely get you on a list. I mean, this conversation <laughs> probably has us on a list, to be honest, but... That's going to get you knocked right to the top of the list. We're already at the top. We used all the trigger words like 15 years ago <laughs> yeah. or 10 years Yeah, ago. I remember that. <laughs> Good times, man. Good times. That's we a need to have spider. another like a live stream of us exploring um, Craigslist. Craigslist? I don't think again. we can do that. We didn't well, live stream got, it the first they got time. Rid of, yeah, and... <laughs> they got rid of the uh, men seeking women, women seeking men pages. Oh, did they for real? Yeah. I'm surprised. Sure. That had to be a popular section. I thought it was hilarious, at least. Get out of the way, Orb Weaver. I'm just trying to get the milk molar. I don't care about you. Bro, I remember we built a bunch of ladders to get up here. I just don't remember where. So I'm just I've just been searching for these fucking ladders. Forever now. I'm fighting a wolf spider currently. Why do we getting close, man? I just want to fight this boss if it's a boss. <laughs> we still don't know for sure what it does, but I'm hoping that moth comes down and we get to fucking murder it. That'd be cool. Oh, you peeped a. Wait, we haven't peeped a wolf spider before? Or all no, you got a card. Peeps. Oh, I was going to say all of our peeps, I think. It's like. Reset. Got lost or something, yeah. I mean, cause... they might have. So we have uh, had a fair few updates since. Oh, fuck, I found it. Okay. Here, I'll mark the uh, ladder for you so you can get up here. Bro, I don't even know. What, what the hell is this? I'm lost. Wait, is this I'm the right mosquito. area? I don't think this is the right fucking area. I think I just wasted a shit ton of time. Fuck, dude. Bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad. Is this the right area? Okay, yeah. No, I think this is fine. I think you can get up from here. 
I need to eat. Holy shit. I'm a hungry boy. Did they rebalance the food or something? I ate a single aphid and that filled me up like three quarters of the way. I have. Or didn't we? Oh, we maybe. The... Yeah, we might have. All right. So I'll just be up here waiting for you, man. Let yeah. You know when you're where ready. are you? I put down I... a marker. I can't even see your location. I put down a marker for you, though. Can you not see the marker? No. Oh, well, uh... Oh, you're over there. Oh, my God, I'm in yeah, the wrong dude. area. <laughs> Jesus, uh... you're, like, 700 meters away. 600. I'm well, there's over a... by the lake. To the south of me is where... you can get up here at easily, like, where we built the shit to get up here. Uh, you should also be able to get up here somehow from... The house, if you're closer to that, you should be able to just walk around from there as well. Okay, yeah, from where you're at, I think you're better off coming this way. Although, I don't know, because then you'll just have to walk back. I think you're fucked either way, to be honest with you, man. <laughs> like, If there were, like, cheats or something, I'd just teleport you up here real quick. I'm coming, slowly. I'm just waiting for all the mosquitoes to start attacking again, dude. I'm uh, gonna be so really pissed if our bridge gets destroyed. Yeah, no, they do feel weaker. I don't know if it's just because you know new swords or or what, but fuck, just get off the bridge. Just get off the bridge. Just get off the bridge. Okay, don't destroy the bridge. I'll fight you over here. Okay. Yo, this water container that you put here that's full of, uh... Juice? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, as the juice drips out, it actually, like, fills it up. Yeah. It'd be cool if there was, like, weather in this game, because I imagine you could have, like, water catchers and stuff from that, too, which would be really cool. And just, like, having storms and shit would be really neat, because all the drops of water would be fucking gigantic, like... And like having puddles of water forming after storms and shit, like it'd just be really cool if they put a storm system in the game. One of these days, I want to try small lands. All right, should I hit the pop cap? What? Oh, it's a chopping thing. Not even a hammer. Well, shit. Well, I'm glad we have the, the axe as well, but... I see where you're at. Okay, yeah, you're there. So you're facing the wrong direction. Who? You. I'm coming your way. You don't want to come toward me. You want to go to the south, where my marker is. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Oh, that is okay. your marker, right? I don't see your actual. Are you moving? Okay, right you're. Now? No, I'm yeah. standing still. I was watching you on the map, and for some reason, it showed you facing the wrong direction. Oh, because I was fighting the mites. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Now I'm okay. fighting larva. Got you. There's a bunch. Oh boy. Oh, that's right. There's not just the pop caps. There's also this big button here. Okay. There's like five of them right here. Oh my god. Just ignore them. Just run past them. I got gangbang, bro. <laughs> Another one. I want to hit it so bad. Ugh. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm getting antsy, man. 80 <laughs> centimeters away. Uh... 60. From the marker, and then you're yeah. 400 centimeters away from me after that. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> God damn mosquitoes. Go away.
<laughs> My arrow's like stuck in the antenna of the fucking mosquito. <laughs> it's just like shaking around in weird ways and shit. It's funny looking. Oh, let's go, let's go. He's so close. I can almost taste it. Climbing up the stairs. So did we do the pop caps first or the big button first? I'm guessing the pop caps would probably be better to do first. Yeah. Bro, why are there so many mosquitoes? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. They're clipping through the wall. What the fuck are you doing, Mr. Mosquito? When you buy me that Mr. Mosquito game, dude. Oh, I don't know, man. That's pretty pricey. <laughs> $80 for a complete inbox. Not that bad. It's not cheap. It's not that bad. Not compared to, like, some other games on the PS2 or nearly any Nintendo game that's not, like, Mario. Oh, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man can't even sit. Get gang banged. Jesus Christ. You have no health left. Just die. Alright, let's go. Number three. And chop. We got gunpowder. Yay. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, where are you? Okay, right fuck. Here. I thought you were gone. I was like, God damn it, dude. What if something happened? Okay. Some more gunpowder. I wonder what we can make with gunpowder. Can we look that up somewhere? Isn't that in, like, data or OS or something? Uh, You go to craft, and then it's one unknown item that we can use that for. Okay. We just make guns? That'd be nice. <laughs> now, we do need a fuse from somewhere, too. I don't know where we get the fuse from. We might have to check the quest log. Do you remember if there was any more of those caps anywhere, or was that it? I'm not sure. Um, Was that a thing before? I hit the button. Oh. Didn't do anything, though. I don't think. I mean, other than it played the sound. I heard the sound, but did it do anything else? I thought it would, like, piss off the moth or something, maybe? Bro, what? <laughs> All that work for nothing. Unless we did know that it was a possibility that we might need to be farther in the main quest line before whatever the boss here is will trigger. So maybe that's the problem. What are you what are you doing? I, I hit it with a pollen arrow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, stop flying. That would come in handy, actually. How do you switch the arrows, though? Do you gotta, R. like... Oh, really? That's not bad. And okay. that brings up a wheel. It's not bad, then. I'm gonna go hit the button again. 
Maybe it has to be at night time? Are moths active at night? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Oh, wait. Let's... Okay. My moist murder dungeon. <laughs> oh, God. Twitch isn't working on your phone. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry Twitch isn't working on your phone, but that's fine. Enjoy your shower, love. Bro, I misread that. I thought it said Jew Bridge, and I was like, can you? Is that okay? I don't think it is. But draw bridge. I'm just going to keep smacking this thing and hoping that it does something at some point. Yeah, the video won't play? Weird. Oh. That's weird. I guess you just need anything level 3 to hit this thing. To hit the oh. button. Yeah. Does it literally just do nothing? So I'm, it's got to do something, man. Like, my guess oh, wait, is, is I that... I can see the moth from right here. Can I shoot it? Wait, can, wait what? Hold on. Where are you? Are you up top still? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm coming. I just hit it. I just hit it. It's we're fighting. Jesus, bro! I told you, hold on. I was coming. He's coming. He's angry. <laughs> oh, he's he's pretty weak. Oh, is he for real? We don't kill him yet. Oh fuck! How do we get up there? Is that <laughs> him? He sounds like a fucking squeaky yeah. toy, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn, dude, he is I can weak. only Poor see thing. one wing, and I hit him with my arrow. Oh, wait, my pollen arrow. Turn that back out. Turn that back on. Oh, this poor thing, dude. <laughs> oh. Again. Pollen arrow. Oh, my pollen arrow didn't do nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Well. well. <laughs> he literally sounds like a fucking squeaky toy. I feel so bad. He's cute. <laughs> the whole ta top half of Charlotte is in my boot. I got scales. And fuzz. That's, uh... Okay, well... That's interesting. Oh, I should probably have scanned him before. Oh, fuck, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm assuming he respawns. We haven't seen them anywhere else, and if you can, like, since he dropped ingredients, I'm assuming you can use those ingredients to make shit. So, Snapping it now, back go home ahead. to, uh, Back analogs. home to fucking die, I guess, yeah. Bro, oh, that's shitty. How was there? There's gotta be... Fuck! <laughs> oh, no. Why'd your thing break or something? Almost. We know for certain that the secret boss, or the boss for the secret ending is there. So I guess we just have to, you don't have, you can just, oh, you're dandelion tufts. But there's water right here. Just drop straight in the water. Don't be a pussy. Lands on the fucking stick and dies. Bro, <laughs> that almost killed me. Landing in the water did? Because I hit the bottom. Oh, no shit. Okay. I didn't realize momentum carried through like that. Well, hey, it didn't kill you. You're fine. Huh. And I was right behind you. I could have revived you <laughs> if that's an option. From Underwater? Falling. I don't know. I don't know either. Analyze the moth shit, and then I guess just continue the main quest line and hope we don't trigger the end end. Although it's 2.30, so we might have to do that next week. Or not next week, but you know, 
You know what I'm saying. Yeah, next time. Start Baldur's Gate in December. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> roughly. Yep. That's a... <laughs> and that oh, about God. 2025. But... Baldur's Gate 2, which is longer, <laughs> might be about a 2028 ending. Let's go. Hey, by then, Skyrim 2 will be out, dude. Potentially. <laughs> and then we can fucking play that if it's multiplayer. I, I hope think... it's not. I <laughs> like. I always wanted multiplayer Fallout and uh, and oh, and yeah, Elder Fallout Scrolls 74. until Fallout 76, or 76 came out. Yeah. And Fallout then I was like, ain't that bad. Not now, but it was pretty shit when it first came out, dude. And now it's just like, day. it's okay. I know, I saw you on Steam. But like, it's the worst of the modern Fallout games. Actually, I yeah. would say it's the worst Fallout game, not including that shitty Brotherhood of Steel spinoff game. Like, it's like, it's average. It's an average game. Whereas all the other ones were good game. <laughs> I think their issue was they uh they should have just made a regular Fallout game. And yeah, and then let you explore with player. friends. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. The no dialogue thing for a while. So fucking kind of dumb, dude. Dumb. <laughs> like... Yeah. Oh shit! This isn't where we analyze that. It. It's over here. Mothy boys and gunpowder. I forgot about the gunpowder. Need to hop on so we can explore the DLC, brother. Yeah, we do need to do that. So robes, mounts, and stuffed moths. So I'm assuming the robe is a new armor type. Um, moth wrap and moth leggings. So yeah, there's a full set of moth gear that we can make. Yeah, level three. And then gunpowder... Bro, you need five moth fuzz just for the robe. Hey, splody rounds. For arrows? I don't know. It's just called splody rounds. It's gunpowder oh. plump, spiky burn, fungal growth. Oh, they look like poppets. They explode, though, so it's probably a better way of making explosives. But Yeah, so you need, yeah, you need uh, fungal growth, one. Which one we have growth, plenty two of. Two gunpowder clamp clumps yeah. and spiky burrs, which, which I've never seen. Yeah, we haven't found that yet, but it makes five explodey rounds, so that's Yeah, watch bad. them be, no, it does say ranged. I was about to say, watch them be for the, uh... oh, yeah, bro, because they're called rounds. <laughs> Slingshot or they're, something? No, they're for the. Wait, oh, there's for a the slingshot? fucking turret. I, don't I think know. they're for the turrets. I hope not, dude. Because there's groundy rounds and rocky rounds for oh, the turrets. Oh, is there for real? Yeah. God damn it, dude! <laughs> well, I was so excited to actually have something that like blew up. Other than the fucking ant eggs, because the ant well, eggs are so flares. annoying to get. Yeah, but aren't flares just fucking a light source? Like, yeah. What the fuck? Who cares? It's exciting. <laughs> Me, bro. Disposable, Sorry. throwable light. Woof. What's that even under? Did I spell uh, it wrong? Health. It's under health. Oh, I spelled it wrong. It's just flare. pitch dude all right where is i know we're not really like gonna do it do it tonight but where the fuck is the whatever the hell we're supposed to get the fuse or whatever there's got to be like a journal or quests there we go the missing scientist install the fuse into wendell scab um where do you get the fuse We have to. The fuck? Did it like tell us at the time, and I just don't remember? Are you? Do you remember anything? <laughs> no. Uh, I 
location. Where? How to find the huge scab. Full size scab. Does it tell you? I don't want to look up spoilers, but I don't remember if it told us in the game or not. So where the fuck would we get a fuse from? I mean, I guess we could talk to Fuckface real quick. Your favorite little robot? Yeah. He might know something. And that won't take long. He's just at the tree. Robot time! Or is there, is there a fuse in this thing? That's where we put the embiggening cell. Hmm. No, no fuses. Seems like a pretty bad design. <clears throat> Alright. Where's the tree? Talk to Fuckface, see if he knows anything about it. Don't be so excited to see your friend. <laughs> He's annoying as shit, you know it. Your bestie. Bestie. Definitely. Bro, honestly, like, Baldur's Gate and shit are going to be terrible games to stream, though. Like, no cap. Because it's 90% text, man. Just yeah. reading. Listen, like, <laughs> you got to do voices. <laughs> you can be the voice actor for it. I'm here for it, man. Both of us. I heard that fantastic Australian accent that you did the other day. <laughs> did I do fast. one? I don't even remember. See, are you yeah, talking about I, the day you were talking yeah. about? <laughs> when I gave you money to... <laughs> Oh, voice shit. that guy and you did no voice at all <laughs> no voice at all dude he doesn't have an accent so he i didn't was have australian an <laughs> nah he just smoked like for 30 years dude that's all that was it's not, it's like not an accent Jason statham that's fucking... <laughs> statham isn't that his last name it might be spelled that way but i've always heard it statham before it's jason statham bro it's i've TH. always heard it statham like Silent age, you know? That H be silent, Listen, though. We speak American around here, all right? What the fuck is American? You mean British English before nah, they bro. got accents? <laughs> state them. State them. State. Yeah, it's spelled state. Oh, he's English. I thought he was Australian. Bro, Hugh you don't Jackman. even know your accents. The fuck bro. you talking about? Huge Jack Man? Thank you. Yeah. I use it to pick up my car. There we go. Yeah, T-H, Statham. I said I think it might be spelled that way, but... No, that's how it's pronunciated. I've never heard it pronunciated that way before. Bro, you just need to open <laughs> up them ears. I ain't got ears. Always happy to see a repeat, pal. Can I help you today? Uh, I never leave Always left the base, and I can still hear that little bastard. <laughs> uh, what's the next step to get home? Okay. I've not seen him in quite some time. See a scab. Uh, survival's important. Can you forge for new materials? He's not telling us shit. He's probably a commie. Holding that information, brother. Uh, where the fuck is this fuse at? There's such a thing as not having enough direction in a game. I like the need to explore. It's like, it would be fine if they were like, hey, I think I remember there being a fuse by the fucking house or something like that. And then you have to search the area around the house, but... Like, I don't even know where the fuck to start, dude. Oh, you found a zipper. Yeah. There was a uh, locked room in here that we need an assistant manager key card to open. Apparently we oh. got one of those at some point, so. So we can make a zip line now, but um, we can only go down, not up. 
I don't know how to unlock the going up, unless that's what the zipper does. Does the zipper let you go up? Oh, I don't know. It's not in my inventory, so... Bro! That's me, I'm bro. Hello? I just remembered. I have a, uh... What are they called? Man. Fucking Get dementia. Places, That's what you bro. got. <laughs> but it's Fucking not a pizza. cheese sticks? Nah, Bread sticks? Cow zones? Pizza, cow zone. Jesus fuck, dude. <laughs> I got a cow zone in the fridge. I got pizza and pasta. I made homemade pasta. Well, I didn't make pasta, bro. Homemade I'm sauce. Over. Last night. Take that toll bridge, I'll be over in about five minutes. I fried up some onions uh, with a little bit of that honey whiskey. And uh, some garlic, fried all that shit up, and then put in some seasoning, some tomato sauce, cook that down a little bit, uh, and then added a bit of butter and cheese into the sauce, mix that bitch Damn. up, dump it on some pasta. Mm. The real question is, though, when are you... Uh, oh, and fish sauce. Make... I've been using fish sauce lately. Bruh, have you ever used fish sauce before? I doubt it, but no, have you? No? I have not. So, like, commercial fish sauce apparently smells like rotten fish. <laughs> like, Does it taste soon... like rotten fish? No, it tastes good. Like, I've never tried it directly. I've only tried it in the food that I've made. But, like, the food I've been making, I've been putting it in there, is good. I put some in the sauce, for instance. But, like, as soon as that shit hits the pan and that heat gets to it and all of the fucking smelly chemicals are thrown in the air, the volatile compounds... It smells like a fish died and has been rotting in your room for 20 <laughs> years. So, like, it is nasty, dude. The first time I used it, I fucking got on Google and was like, is this how this shit's supposed to smell or is my bottle rotten? And everybody was just like, no, commercial fish sauce smells like ass. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I expected it to smell fishy. Obviously, it's fucking fish yeah. sauce. But, no, it smells rotten, dude. Like, you remember, we used to unload trucks together. Do you remember yeah. when, like, a can of cat food would fucking explode on the truck and then it would just sit in the truck and go rotten for uh, a week? That's what it fucking smells like, dude. That's that's the shit I'm putting in my food that's right now. That's delicious, bro. But it's so fucking good, man. It tastes really great. But, uh, yeah, no. I haven't actually bought spaghetti sauce in a long time. I just make my own now. What were you saying, anyways? You said when you were going to come over. Going... Yeah, when are yeah. you going to make me some uh, fried rice again? I mean, if you buy the shit and come over, I'll make you fried rice, dude. You don't got to buy the rice. I got some of that. <laughs> like, What else do I need to buy? Uh, I mean, <laughs> really, it just depends what you want in it. It's just eggs, oh, rice, bro. vegetables, seasoning. We might be out of... We are out of the... Uh, the sesame oil. So we'd need sesame oil. Bro, that oil, was like but... that was the main thing that set it apart. <laughs> so we would need some of that. But other than that, like I said, it's just fucking whatever vegetables you want in it. Rice. Are you work tomorrow? Yeah, work tomorrow. I'm about I'm to off. call off. I'm off Wednesday, dude. That's it. It's my one day Listen, off. I'm gonna call off and show up at your house. What, tomorrow or on Wednesday? Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, have fun. You're going to be making yourself that fried rice. Cause Damn. Legit, though, if you want to come over and have it one day, try to let me know a day or two ahead of time. I'm letting you know right now I'm going to be. You're going to be over when? Tomorrow? Yeah. Well, that ain't, I mean, okay. But for I'll real, though. 10.30 p.m. It works better if you use day-old rice, okay? And that's all I'm trying to say so it's just you better like cook up some goddamn rice right now you better cook up some fucking rice and bring it with you dude <laughs> like you went over here begging for that shit like a crack fiend like itching your neck and whatnot it's been like bro, a year it was delicious <laughs> i think about it from time to time learn to cook bro it's not even hard no. why <laughs> what do you mean why why would i want to make it when i could just drive five minutes away and you can make it and so I that you don't gotta gonna wait a well. year at a time to to fucking get it, dude. We're not. I'm gonna have it every Wednesday. <laughs> every Wednesday. God damn, yes. dude. I get tired of it after a while. Nah, we'll change it up, bro. You know the worst part? Like, what? I eat that shit like once every week or two. Like, you, and you just bitched to me for saying every <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Fried rice is a staple in my house. That's because it's cheap. It's easy. 
it's quick to put together because like I eat rice a fair bit so every time I make rice I just make an extra couple servings of it and then the next day I'll fry it up with whatever protein I have and oh Jesus Christ I'm gonna die because I'm lost okay I'm Gucci I do need to get some more of that sesame oil though that's another thing though that's like use too much of that sesame oil dude it's fucking disgusting <laughs> like it's really gross <laughs> but just a little bit in there there you Let's go do a shot that's the shit. A shot of a sesame, half sesame oil, oil half half fish, fish sauce, sauce. <laughs> bro i'm convinced we throw up <laughs> have you ever eaten sardines I, yeah i like sardines okay i do too but like that's just, that just, shit like that makes me think of it because sardines if you just smell them smell yeah. like fucking ass dude not as bad as the fish sauce does but it's Do like they don't smell good yeah that's actually what fish sauce is made out of okay it's made out of uh <laughs> anchovy byproduct to be specific oh, that's <laughs> and you like it's... anchovies on pizza yeah yeah i do me too i feel bad every uh... time i order it though well wow, oh because nobody else does <laughs> well well not only that but i door dash it and my poor door dasher has to have it sit in their car <laughs> Trip over. <laughs> I'm weird. I like uh, it's anchovies and jalapeno. I'd be fine with that. I've never tried like that exact combination, but I like both those things. Uh, so. The whole That's reason I started that, I don't know if I ever told you. Uh, I when I lived at Grand and Paps, like, Cody used to eat my pizza. Oh, uh, okay. It would be in the fridge, and I looked up yeah. online like the wildest combination that like was still edible, and that was one of them. <laughs> and bro, I, I mean, I don't even have to worry about someone eating my pizza now, but I still get it from time to time. <laughs> It has like a real good because like the sauce is sweet and you get hit with the saltiness of the anchovy. Anchovy. Mm -hmm. And then like mm -hmm. there's like kind of a sweet and spiciness well, from the jalapeno. And, and there's like, a reason they use anchovy for fish sauce and Worcestershire sauce. It's got a lot of umami to it. Yeah. Like. It's like mm. Mm hmm. It's good shit. That's also nah, wild to me like... though. Like so, fish sauce is just fermented anchovy byproduct with salt, right? Mm -hmm. Worcestershire sauce is uh, fermented anchovies with salt and seasoning, but they are completely fucking different, dude. I've never had <laughs> fucking Worcestershire sauce smell like weak old <laughs> rotting fish. <laughs> like <laughs> Worcestershire sauce just smells like it's like salty, isn't it? It's kind of like almost like a soy sauce kind of yeah. vibe. Well, I mean, it's salty, but it's like it's also in pretty much every like barbecue sauce and whatnot too. Yeah, it's also common in a lot of pasta like sauces, smoky, Worcestershire sauces salty. for mommy. Yeah, it's a sweet, smoky, salty kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. hella salty, Rue says, yeah. No wonder you hate steak sauce. I love steak sauce, especially... I never put it on my steak, but I love the taste of it. Um, especially A1 steak sauce, because it's just fucking citrus and Worcestershire, basically, dude. That shit's so good. I would literally, when I was younger, I would take the cap off of the, the uh, A1 steak sauce... <laughs> And I would fill up the cap with A1 and then just sit there and fucking sip it, dude, out of the cap as a little treat every now and then. Like, that shit's so good. <laughs> I love A1. But I never put it on steak. That's like a fucking sin to me, dude. I mean, you do you, of course. If you don't like steak, then why even eat it? But whatever. <laughs> you want to fucking ruin it with some steak sauce? Have fun. And then you like pork, don't you? I love pork. Because uh, probably my favorite meat. They noodle and I are poor, so we don't buy a whole lot of proteins these days. But uh, there's like country ribs are relatively cheap. Um, they're just like ribs, but they're shaped like ribs. But they're just made with other cuts. And uh, I bought a shit ton of them because they were super cheap for like. Two and a half pounds or something like that. Three pounds. I only paid... It was like $2 a pound, basically. Um, and it's all meat. No bone. Unless they fuck up cutting it, which does happen every once in a while. Uh, anyways, and like I made ribs, barbecue ribs out of them the first night. But there were a couple left over. So I just fried them up with some um, onions and... I don't even remember what all I put in it. But anyways, point is, this shit ended up being tender as fuck, dude. <laughs> like, it was some of the best meat I've ever had, like, cooked in something like that. And uh, 10 out of 10 would suggest. I might, whenever I make fried rice next, I might put that shit in there. That sounds good to me.
Oh. Bro. We got the fuse already. Are you kidding me? Fuck me. <laughs> I was like, maybe if I go back to where the fuse goes, it'll give me a hint on where to fucking find it. So I cracked open the battery door, and it just popped up and said, one of one available. Do you want to come here for the scab thing, or? Bro, where are you at? I'm... Um, back at the chair oh jesus <laughs> i keep telling walk. you we, we need to stay together where have you been this whole time i've been sitting at home <laughs> that's all you've been Watching doing the sunset, bro you're 800 center <laughs> no bro you just do this <laughs> just fucking sitting at home how the fuck do we activate the scab oh there we go power on enter the crawl space beneath the shed okay so you got to come over here anyways jesus christ well, I mean, we could do it next week. Do it now. Let's do it next yeah. week. Because, I mean, it is we, three We have an morning. objective that says yeah. it right there, and we know exactly what to do. Hello, my scabby-wearing friend. I do not know who you are or how you came by this message, but please tell them I tried. Tell Trudy, Thor, my little Sarah, tell the world song is setting on our yard and it brings back so many memories sitting in I'm guessing chair, he was dying whenever he re chair, recorded this chair. I fear this may be the last time I lay eyes on such a beautiful sight. yeah dude we're listening to a dying man's fucking message this is sad <laughs> Jesus Christ Oh wait. This will be my last adventure into the miniature world. Okay, so this is before he miniaturized himself. And embrace the unknown. Hmm. I'll either find the answer or shrivel in the darkness below. To my lab underneath the shed. This is Dr. Wendell Tooley signing off. Goodbye. Noodle would like everyone to know if you make the pork shit we were talking about, make sure you really put it deep in the trash or the cats will dig it out and lick it. <laughs> cats are demons from... Ugh. Anyways, one of them <laughs> at least is. Anyways, alright, well, fuck, dude. I guess that's it. We made progress today. We made progress! Hallelujah! You gotta take a shit yet? Nah, I did nah. that before the movies, bro. Well, bro, then we still got another, like, 30 minutes of playtime if you ain't got a shit yet. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. We getting off here, boys. Bro, I don't know. I, should... I feel like I should call it off. You feel like you should call it Bro, you probably shouldn't. I mean, it's up to you. It's your life. But you probably shouldn't call off. Call off. In, like, six months, seven right months. On. Really? Not bad, yeah. dude. Not bad. So you got all your points no. and shit? Like, no no occurrences on the record? Yeah. Nice, dude. Then, yeah, just call off, like, I three days. That, I got all that PPTO. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Bro. Anyways. All right, guys. Sick is what I mean. Yeah, I feel that. Me too. Sick, Me too, yeah. actually. I'm feeling Let's sick, too. Call off and yeah, can make, make, can make some make fried me. rice, dude. Yeah, that'll make me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit hey if anybody from work is watching this um this is purely for the jokes i'm not calling off because i want to hang out with my brother i'm calling off because i'm i mean i'm not calling <laughs> off uh <laughs> anyways <laughs> have a good night guys thank you for coming and hanging out while we played we do appreciate you being here i'll be back with more final fantasy 16 we got probably another like three or four streams of final fantasy 16 and then that should finally be finishing up it's been a long game there's some really fucking good points and a lot of really fucking slow points though anyways hope to see you guys there for that in a couple nights until then have a good night and uh be kind to each other y'all bye <laughs>
Bye. Jack. One and fifteen to Dark Cloud. So I'll let it slide this time, but yeah. It's meant for votes on a single game, my guy. Can we talk about this? Because otherwise someone could just like do that and then vote on 25 different games or something and that would be incredibly annoying. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got to draw a line, sadly. These are cookies that Gingerbread Man can throw to attract creatures and enemies of all sorts. Got it, got it. I vaguely remember doing this before. 